What's up, YouTube? Hey, guys. So, why am I leaving my job? To become a full-time reseller and stay at home all day? One, so I can do this. Baby, you were there. Oh. quality time with my cat. Look at this face. Why wouldn't I want to work from home? Three. That's it. Just kidding. Four. So I can be my own boss. Okay. So here we go feels a little bit like uh, how I would expect a bachelor contestant to feel while sitting in a confessional spilling their guts, but uh, I'll ask that to Chris. Hi there, my name is Jill. I am from the Seattle area. And if you couldn't tell from my um, shamelessly clickbaity uh, title, I decided to leave my full-time job in order to pursue in order to pursue um, reselling fashion from home full time. So, uh, if you wanna hear a little background story on why and how I got here, stay tuned. If not, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, just kidding, just go ahead and fast forward to the very extensive Jet File video that will be shown later. It's gonna be good. Currently, I work full time at a restaurant and while it's very comfortable and very easy money, and I know it like the back of my hand, I worked there for seven years. I've become very much so jaded with my work. It's so routine, it's, it's so easy. I can just go in there and just, just go through the motions and just get through the day. While that's great for income, because uh, if you do work in the restaurant industry, you know that it's great money. Um, it's also really hard on your body because you're on your feet all day. Um, you, uh, it's very long hours and sometimes really tough hours. Like for me, my husband and I, we have opposite work schedules and so that's been really hard like with our first year of marriage. Also social anxiety, for some reason like that's just been really tough this year and it's really hard putting yourself out there and having to like constantly like be meeting new people it's very overstimulating it's it's just a tough environment to be in and i feel like um i put in my time there and i learned so much there but i feel like now is the next chapter and it's time for me to be the pilot of my own life and my own business so that's how i got here um a little bit of background on why i love used clothing so much is because I found her sister and like I stole her clothes all the time growing up so I guess that that's where you can say that like my love of like secondhand clothing came from. No, I worked as a buyer at this buy still trade store called Crossroads Trading Company. Um, I worked there for about two years and became kind of a seasoned buyer there and I got to learn so much and I got to learn so much about like different designers and brands and how to like look over garments and and what to look for seasonally and um, just like what's a good buy and what's a bad buy. So that really helped. Um, and then where Poshmark comes in is I probably got the account like probably five years ago and just kind of dabbled in it, just, um, you know, would take something out of my closet and then just be like, oh, this is, I'm done with this. Um, I would like to find you a new home. So um, yeah, I would just sell like small things like every now and then and then I think when the light bulb like really went off was when I had sold a piece that I had bought like at Crossroads or thrifted somewhere and sold it for like twice of, as, as, as much as what I paid for it. That was when it was like, oh huh, so like am I the only one who knows about this or like is this a thing? And then that's when I stumbled upon the reseller community, um, which by the way is incredible. Like. Everybody is so supportive of one another. You think that like 
everybody is just like out to, is just out for themselves, but everybody is so supportive of one another. The amount of information out there that so many resellers put out is incredible and also super selfless. Like you think that like making videos about like the best selling brands to look for or um, you know, the highest priced items or whatever, or like the best tips on how to thrift and everything, you think that that would be a self-sabotage for your business, but it's not because everyone here supports each other. There's enough for everybody here and there's enough to go around and you know, Small businesses, supporting small businesses is a really beautiful thing. The amount of information that I've learned from just like opening my laptop and leaving like YouTube reseller videos on autoplay, I have learned so much brand recognition and um, now I know what to look for in the thrift stores, I know what days to go on, I know what times to go, I know like what sections to look at first. Shoes, for sure. Empty Hanger, Millie and Monica, Mogi Beth, Fashion without trashing, and also the YouTube Reddit community is so rich with information. You can post a question, and like within minutes, you'll get an answer. Like, oh, does anybody recognize like this brand? Does anybody know the style number for this? Has anybody experienced this as a buyer? The community is so supportive there. You will feel understood, and you'll get your questions answered. So, highly recommend that. Also. So that was another thing that when I started selling more in Poshmark, probably um, in November was when I really started to like go thrifting and then just sell like p partially in my closet, but then selling things that I found thrifted for profit. And it was so exciting being able to find something for like two or three dollars and then selling it for like 50, like <laughs> I'm not a gambler, but like that's incredible. And it's so fun and like just the treasure hunt of like finding an item and then like being able to like bring it back to life and save it from a landfill and putting it up online and like designing like your own set and like choosing your own brand image is so exciting and just curating a closet is so incredible and so creatively satisfying. So now when I'm working at the restaurant, I just constantly find myself thinking of getting home I can't wait to get home and just go on Poshmark and list more stuff and sell more stuff. I would like to be doing this full time while working full time in the restaurant just for the next year and then doing switching over to the transition then because you want to make sure that you have enough money saved up just in case anything happens, an emergency fund. You want to be set before you kind of jump off with this and um, yeah, so I'm trying to be smart about it. If you guys are experiencing something similar or are about to embark on your own journey, then join me. Accountability would be great. So if you need to be held accountable, I'll be there for you. If you can hold me accountable, would love that. Thank you so much. Let's do this together. Welcome to Jurassic Park. She said, How could you joke at a time like this? I know why, because this is what you wanted all along now, isn't it? ashamed right now because I still continue to go thrifting like once or twice a week. I have a problem. I have a clear problem. This is very embarrassing. Um, but I think that this needed to happen. I think I just need to be shamed into listing these items. This is genuinely embarrassing. Just, just a winter squirrel storing these nuts in this dining room. So, 
Um, why don't I show you a few designer pieces? This is a silk and cotton rag and bone dress. I picked this up at Buffalo Exchange um, and I've had it for about four months and it is still unlisted. Why am I like this? Next we have this brand. I don't know if anybody's familiar with it. Gucci? Gucci? I've got a freaking Gucci shirt in here that I've had for a month unlisted. I, may, I might send it to Threadaplex or The Real Real. I haven't decided. My first box that I sent into Threadaplex is still processing. It's taken like 10 months, which is a long time. We got this Dries, Ben Noten, Choker Collar Dress, Maxi, V-neck, Side Slits. It's beautiful, and I've had it for three months, unlisted. This is a midi dress with pockets, a piece apart. This is probably $150, unlisted for four months. Oh, I wonder if anybody would recognize uh, this print or pattern. I don't know if there's a market for this designer, but there is. It's Masoni. There's a market for it. One month unlisted. That's a Supreme. Easy $175. Unlisted. I don't know if anybody has heard of this designer. Got two pieces. She's not very popular. I don't think anybody will want these, but. Elizabeth and James dress, new with tags. This gorgeous maxi long sleeve velvet burnout dress. And other stories. Also a very hot label right now. Definitely recommend picking it up. Had it for two months. Who is gonna want this? It's silk. It's leopard print. Who wouldn't want that for spring? I don't know if anybody recognizes this brand. Not very popular. Who's looking for that? Everyone. Everyone is looking for Reformation right now. So cute. It's got tassels. It's got pockets. It's got long sleeves. It's the most beautiful blush color. Who wouldn't want this for spring? Get it listed! Look at this beautiful vintage. All leather and Sherpa. Lined coat. I swear to God, this is from Almost Famous. I can't guarantee that though. Why wouldn't I list this? A month and a half unlisted. I'm fired. Another up and comer. MM Le Fleur. Beautiful, easy sell, black cocktail dress. Anybody recognize this? That's 3 1 Philip Lim. Beautiful silk and velvet burnout dress. Just waiting for a new home. That's enough self shame for a day. Um, oh, one more. Vintage Jean Paul Gaultier. Gaultier. Let's get to listing. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if you guys want to follow along with this journey, um, just go ahead and like and subscribe so that I can get that AdSense cash. Um, and I'm going to be posting weekly videos. We're going to be doing some thrift with me videos. We're going to be doing some what sold videos. We're going to be doing top 10 brands to buy. We're going to be doing uh, list with me. We're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing it all. And if you guys have any suggestions, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Um, appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, again, my username is at shared threads on Poshmark and Mercari. Um, yeah. 
See you next time.